Scientists make glow-in-the-dark plant. Can you imagine using a plant for a bed light? Scientists at MIT have developed a plant that can glow in the dark. They say it can be used for late-night reading. To light up the plants, they used an enzyme in fireflies known as luciferase. This provides the insect with their glow. The scientists say their work could possibly be applied to street lamps. So, would you use a plant as a replacement for your light? It's in the ground. China's Concept Martian Forest City Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese Space Agency, Tongji University, and Stefano Boeri Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? Soil released from carbon may heat planet even further. A 26-year-long soil study has unearthed something rather concerning. According to new research published in the journal Science, soil releases more carbon when heated to a certain point. In 1991, scientists placed heaters 10 centimeters under soil in the Harvard Forest in Massachusetts. They artificially heated that area over 26 years. Scientists observed the heated soil release 17 percent more of its carbon content compared to unheated soil. If warmer soil produces higher carbon emissions in forests around the globe, then the global warming process could speed out of control. Largest ever reforestation planned in the Amazon. A project in the Amazon rainforest is aimed at using a new technique to plant trees in the largest ever tropical reforestation. Conservation International plans to restore 70,000 acres of land cleared for grazing with 73 million trees in the Brazilian Amazon. The trees will be planted in the arc of deforestation that stretches across the Brazilian states of Amazonas, Acre, Pará, and Rondônia, as well as the Xingu watershed. The planting method is called muvuca, which is Portuguese for a small place with many people. It involves spreading hundreds of native tree seeds of various species over deforested land. Plant-by-plant -plant reforestation techniques usually have a density of 160 plants per hectare, while with muvuca, density is 2,500 species per hectare. Scientists believe after 10 years, it could reach 5,000 trees per hectare. Hopefully, these new trees and America's willingness to practice sustainability can help slow down global warming. Yeah, right. We're screwed. Scotland looks set to make fracking illegal. Fracking shale gas from the land is lucrative for energy-rich countries around the globe, but many are concerned about the environmental impact. One such place is Scotland. The Scottish government looks set to make fracking illegal in the country, following opposition against it from the public. But why is the process so controversial? Fracking miners bore a deep pipeline that curves and extends for miles. Next, they ply it with fracking fluid. This is a cocktail of water, sand, and toxic chemicals. Pressure from this creates underground fractures that the sand keeps open. Shale gas then flows back towards the surface, where it is extracted for energy use. Fracking opponents fear the process may cause cracks in near-surface underground rock. Methane gas can seep into these fissures and create flammable water. Scottish lawmakers will vote on whether or not to ban fracking later this year.